Hello, and welcome to the What's New in Adobe Connect 8 screencast. My name is James David Sell from Penn LPS, and today I'm going to show you what's new in Adobe Connect 8. This screencast assumes that you have a working knowledge of Adobe Connect and have used the platform before. So the first thing you notice is that our audio controls have moved up to the top into the application bar. We have controls to connect your audio and mute your microphone, controls for your webcam, and then the status options have moved up here as well, so you can raise your hand and all of that. If we move down to the attendee list, you'll see that now a flyout menu appears when you hover over a student name. This easily allows you to enable audio, enable video, or start a private chat with a student. If we move down to the chat pod, we'll see that the drop down is no longer there and instead chats are done in tabs. It's a really cool and clean way to use chat in the classroom and you don't have to worry about messing with a drop down anymore for private chat or different chats with your students. You'll also notice that in the pod options menu for the chat box you can start a chat with your attendees and also the hosts or presenters. If we move over to the right side we'll see that the layout management is in this nice little toolbar here. You're able to switch between your layouts and then also add new ones. So you can just create a new layout as you would in Adobe Connect 7. To access breakouts in Adobe Connect 8, click on the breakout room view in the attendee list, and then drag and drop your students to their desired breakout rooms. If you want to evenly distribute your students across breakout rooms, you just click this button, and then you can always add a breakout room by hitting the plus sign, and remove it by hitting the X sign. When you're ready, just click Start Breakouts, and you'll be brought into breakout rooms, and the message will reflect that you are now in a breakout session. To move yourself between the rooms, just drag and drop your name, and you'll be brought into the different breakout rooms. When you're done, just click End Breakouts. Finally, there are a couple new menu rearrangements in Adobe Connect 8. First of all, when you go to Meeting, you can go directly to the Audio Setup Wizard. You don't have to go to any submenus to access anything for the Audio Setup Wizard. And also, right below the Audio Setup Wizard is the option to record your meeting. So you'll see that Adobe Connect 8 is looking great. It's not too much different than Connect 7, and I think you'll have a great time using it. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great day!